What if cognitive science could make your teaching more effective? Now, in this research paper summary I've got for you today, this research explores 13 teachers in English classrooms, which is great. Uh, real research from teachers in our education system using cognitive science to support student learning. And what I provide for you here summarized in this video is that cognitive science, um, as we know, holds great promise for our classrooms, transforming us as professionals to be evidence-based uh, because grounded in research practice might, definitely makes us more effective teachers and the data time and time again backs this up. However, this study shows that these strategies aren't a one-size-fits-all. So things like retrieval practice, space practice, elaboration, and so on and so forth. And more than anything, the study highlights, um, here, let me just open that for you, the importance of adapting methods to suit different subjects. Now, we all know those kind of things, but often we're given retrieval practice activities and it's a one-size-fits-all for students and different school context. So applying these principles in here, now I've got this important grid for you. Now people that have been in my teacher training sessions will have seen this before. Adapting the principles of cognitive science is harder than knowing the principles and they must be adapted to suit your context. So let me just squeeze this a little bit further. This is my example. I encourage you to adapt this to suit your own students and your school. And as part of my teacher training, I always use the example of, you know, maybe teaching uh, children about sex education. We don't teach them the nicknames of our body parts, we teach them the biological names. This should not be anything different for when we teach students about how to learn, trying to reach that kind of, uh, kind of dream of developing metacognition. So here are the technical names for learning and what I see on my travels is primary schools year five and sixes are starting to introduce this language to our young people. We should be using retrieval as our chosen language rather than revision, plus many more. And this could also filter down to parents too. So click the link in this video, read my research summary, grab the research paper, grab this strategic resource from me to help you get started and I hope it starts to influence you and your decisions well before the exam season. Thanks for watching.